Hello, in this pop-up Ology tutorial, I'll be showing you how to fold the Paradise design from my range of origami architecture pop-up cards. So once you have uh, downloaded and cut your template, you should end up with something that looks like this. And in order to begin, what we do, as always, is establish a gentle crease along our baseline uh, indicated by these uh, perfed sections on the two sides under my thumbs and you just literally just want to press press in on that crease to a very shallow degree of fold as you can see here and from from this point on we'll be progressively deploying our design um, through these cut sections at the base of our, our, our card and also these palm tree sections at the back of the design. So in order to not damage any sections, we want to be doing this in a progressive and incremental uh, fashion. So the next thing we do is we take our biggest plane that will protrude towards us and develop it by holding down with our thumbs continually on the base of our card and with a digit from the back just pressing that plane forward like so um, and you can progressively go towards the front as you can see here and deploy this volume further so it starts to protrude more and more in space but don't overfold this section because as you can see you're putting stress on the paper along the base of the card so we need to catch up with our other sections i.e. the palm tree shape designs so we go back to the center palm tree and by holding down these two base lines with the thumbs just pop out the center section. Uh, sometimes these um, delicate areas can snag so just just take care to push the tree shape forward without um, catching on the aperture behind it up to about this degree of fold and individually you can repeat the process with both of the, the side trees palms as well. As you can see here it is snagging somewhat so just help it through the aperture and literally actually at this stage if you concentrate on pushing right there from behind it will just want to come forward naturally. Anytime you feel resistance in the paper just stop uh, folding further and and go back and and see see if you can uh, avoid any unnecessary kinks or or um or creases in your design. So we are at this stage. <clears throat> in fact, uh, as you can see here, this section has almost folded itself, as we were doing this side. So we just need to establish it just a tiny bit more and we get to a almost 90 degree fold stage uh, at which point we can now start to fully collapse our piece by first of all going back to the front and just using a pinching technique just pull this entire plane forward in space i.e. from the sides as you can see by slightly pin pinching our shapes but again, uh, just make sure you don't overfold because it can damage the back sections. So therefore we go back to the back again, our base of our card, and, and just fold by pinching from behind across that plane as well. So as you can see, we're kind of catching up with a degree of folding at the back until we get to the same stage as we were 
in the front section. And now we are literally ready with a couple of strategically placed pinches to collapse our entire piece. And you can just tap down on the back of your card to, to sharpen those, those creases and end up, hopefully, with something that looks like this. One added feature of this design are uh, these little apertures, windows, that you can deploy. So if you want to open them slightly, you can actually just press from the back and just just open up these apertures with your nails just carefully um, like so and of course you can close them back up again and when you collapse your piece it will do so anyway um, so it's now ready for your um, personalization and um, embellishment decorations and also if you want to cover up the back of your card and uh, just cover this void section here. I recommend that you use a transparency backing sheet, which gives you some really interesting lighting effects, as you can see here. A lot of shadow and light plays that you can achieve with this kind of finish. And you will only really need to just um, attach using a couple of small glue tabs in each of the corners to, um, to finish your card. So there we have it. Hope you enjoyed this project and do check out all my other tutorials online. Hope to see you soon. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.